And breaking news coming into America's newsroom on the Fox on the college admission scandal. A judge now accepting the plea deal for the fashion designer Massimo Giannulli, meaning that he will serve five months in prison. That was part of the plea deal. His wife, Full House star Lori Loughlin, will be sentenced in about uh, 12 or 13 minutes, we are told. Her plea deal calls for her to serve two months in prison. Uh, it works out if the judge accepted Massimo Giannulli's plea. He is very likely to also accept Lori Loughlin's two-month prison term. Remember, because of this plea deal, they are not allowed to serve house arrest. In other words, they have to go to prison. So, so we, when that happens, we don't know, but they will have to go to the prison. The judge did have some discretion as to whether he could accept this or he could ask for a tougher sentence. Apparently, he has decided to accept this, so that appears to be the parameters. This. The couple will also pay about $400,000 as in a fine, um, and, and the likelihood is, is that Lori Locken will go to the same California upstate prison, a minimum security prison that Felicity Huffman went to uh, a few months ago. She served 11 days for her part in the college admission scandal. And for those who don't recall, Lori Loughlin and her husband, Massimo Giannulli, uh, they actually, they faked the application for their daughters to attend the University of Southern California, uh, putting forward that their daughters were actually crew team uh, recruits when in fact they had never been on the crew team. They had never crewed at all. They took pictures of them in crew outfits, sent them in, sent them in and then they were facilitated along by a person who was also going to serve some prison time and they were caught. Now the question remains, will they actually go to prison because of the whole COVID-19 outbreak? What we're being told is, is they will actually have to present themselves at the prison. Now if there is a COVID-19 outbreak at the various prisons that G. Newley and Lockton will be sent to. At that point in time, the judge will have the discretion to be able to send them for house arrest. But, but it works out that they would have to present themselves. And right now, our understanding is the prison that we anticipate that Lori Lockton would go to does not have a COVID outbreak, so she would likely go there and spend her two months. And Sandra, the whole premise of this is there were about 73 people involved in this college admission scandal. The sentences have come down from, you know, slap on the wrist to some fines to six months in jail. That seems to be about the extent of this. But Lori Lachlan had fought all along saying, look, we're not guilty. We thought we were just doing this in a way that would benefit the college. And, and, you know, the whole thing here, Sandra, is they're, they're, <laughs> they're not being bought by a judge. That judge has accepted this plea deal. They worked a long time on this. So it looks like they're both going to spend at least a little bit of time in, in prison.